Well, I am planting some elephant garlic. This is some elephant garlic from Haas Tools. They sent me about five pounds of it. I just want you to look at this. We'll, we'll plant it in just a second. I want you to look at that. See if I can do this with one hand here. That's about three inches, over three inches. That's about three inches. I mean, this is just, this is just huge. I mean, that's almost as big, almost as big. If there's two of them, it'd be as big as a softball. That is just beautiful stuff. So, uh, as I understand it, elephant garlic is really not a garlic. It's in the leek family. But it has all the, the taste and the properties and stuff of, of, uh, of garlic, regular garlic. But it makes some big, big cloves. And uh, these, are some, these are just huge. Gosh. Not all of them are. Some of them are, you know, that's two inches long, maybe. Easily two inches long. That one, two, two and a half, probably. But, uh, man, look at that. there. Is big some big clothes so we're gonna plant that now I'm planting this in my back to Eden garden um, or in a, in a spot that used to be back to Eden and I covered with uh, uh, last spring just six or eight months ago covered with um, wood chips pretty deep six or eight inches so I've got to plow through that first and, and that's what I'm doing here is just plowing uh you know it's probably not the best way to do back to eden is to plow to use a plow but i had my my house uh, double wheel hoe uh set up on uh in the plow set up so i'm just uh uh plowing through here and and then uh get down as deep as i can again the wood chips are six or eight inches deep just trying to get them uh, get down to the dirt. I would like to plant, put this on the uh, bare soil if at all possible. So I want to make sure I get down to that. And then, um, so I'll go through that a couple of times with the plow and then come back on top with a rake or with a hoe in this case and uh, just pull all of the uh, uh, wood chip material uh, try to pull it all out of the furrow where I am getting down to the dirt and um, Once that is done then I've got two nice furrows of um, In the wood chips that are probably four five six inches deep So then we'll uh, we'll drop these in it and I let me show you how I'm doing that So basically we just wind up with uh, two long furrows that are pretty deep um, I'm going to come in here with the garlic and I'm going to place it about 12 inches apart and these rows are about two feet apart and place it about 12 inches apart in the rows and uh, I'm trying to trying to make sure that I'm getting it down into the uh, onto the soil the uh, you know get not just set it on top of a wood chip uh or you know some of the wood chips but getting it down into the soil onto the soil so it'll take root and then i'll cover it up with the wood chips so let's do that so when you're planting garlic you want to make sure the the blunt end that's where it's gonna root from, is that blunt end right there. You wanna make sure it goes down, the pointy end goes up. So it goes in that position. So it will root from here, the blunt end. That's where the roots will form and it will sprout from here. So let's get the rest of it done. So there's two pretty good rows. Uh, probably, like I said, it's five pounds. There's about 40, 40, 
two, three cloves in five pounds. So that'll let you know kind of what to expect. Um, so now it's just a matter of covering them up and I'll just be raking wood chips on top of them. If this was a um, traditional garden with soil, you would just rake the soil on top of it, making sure the point was sticking up like I showed you and, uh, and should uh, get a pretty good crop of garlic out of this. Uh, got about eight inches apart, some of them maybe 12. Uh, they said 8 to 12 inches, that's what Haas said on the package, so yeah, I did somewhere between that. And uh, so we're going to cover it up. The rows aren't quite as straight as I would like for them to be. I didn't uh, use a string and trying to trying to cut through the uh, wood chips with the with the wheel hoe. It was you know it would snag a twig or snag something and kind of veer off to one side. So rows aren't really straight. Straight enough. Let me tell you why I did not plant them in this other plot. My first plan was to plant them here. I've got a cover crop on most of this cover crop starts about right here and goes that way i left this open on purpose because i was going to put some onions here but i think i'm pretty sure i'm going to put all my onions over in my tub garden my raised bed garden I, i'm not uh not doing anything anything with it i burned it off uh, the other day like i've done in the past and so i i think i'm gonna plant my I think I'm gonna plant all my onions over there. I think so. Instead of doing onions here, I may do just potatoes, maybe three rows of, of potatoes, maybe something like a Yukon Gold or something like that. We really like those. Uh, wasn't gonna do potatoes this year, but I think I will. So we're planting garlic, elephant garlic from House Tools. And uh, if you need some garlic, that's the only kind they have is elephant garlic, but if that's what you want, uh, check out my link below to Haas Tools and um, check them out. Get you some garlic, get you some taters, onion seed. I showed you planting onion seed the other day. And uh, so get all that done. It's getting time. All right, we're gone. <laughs>